Ooh, I feel the same way white people do. Scott Adams finally said what I feel. I feel the same way Scott Adams feel. But I feel that same way about white people. We need, we need to keep away from them. You're right. I am definitely a segregationist. I advocate for that. We need to stay far away from white people. They need to do like what they did with California when they was proposing to split California up into three regions. Where you have a central, a north, and a south. They just needed to split the United States up into just, just regions. But regions based on what they say, race. So New York, all up, all up in New York, all that whole northeast, that could be that could, they can get it to Asians. The whole west, they can get that to the to the to the Hispanics, the Latinos. The South, they can get that to us. They can get that to the blacks. And then the central and midwest, that's where the white people could be. That will go and we could form our own constitutions, our own governance, our own governments, our own laws and how we govern our people, our nation. And then if we got to make a collective decision, we come to the table with our own independent structures and systems and find out if there's any commonality in how we think. But Scott Adams... The way he feel about black folks, that's the way I feel. I feel just like white people. But I feel that same way about them. We need to get away from them. It doesn't matter that you join black life. He sees Scott Adams, one thing he didn't do is show his tax returns. Yeah, you donated here, you volunteered here, you gave money to this, you supported this, 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 this. They had to do with the black community. But we all know them dollars don't. Them dollars don't flow. That cash flow don't hit these areas. They don't hit these census blocks. They don't hit these metro areas. They don't hit these underfunded cities. That cash don't go there. Out of the top 75, out of the top 75, top 50 most popular cities, most, the predominant amount of that Oh, those cities are in massive debt. They broke billions of dollar deficit. But Scott Adams tried to pull again that modern day racist. The modern day racist, when challenged, that's when they revert to that conditioning that they received a whole American educational life. That supremacy kick in. So he thinks he can, he, you know, he's utilizing his, his privilege. He, yeah, I went over to the Black Lives Matter. I decided to be black for a couple of months. And uh, yeah, I, I did the things I, you know, that I, that, that, I, that I wanted to do, you know, under this identity. <laughs> Listen, but it doesn't change the fact that his mentality is that there should be separation. I feel the same way. Scott Adams, thank you. We need more people like Scott Adams. Be blatant so I know how to deal with you. When I come across you, when you, when you in my vicinity, when your presence is noticed, I know how to deal with you. But for all y'all out there that say that racism don't exist, I'm glad Scott Adams put it on the table. We been new white folks felt this way. Just say it. Thank you, Scott Adams. Ooh, woo. Because I, we feel that same way. We gotta stay far away from white folks. They, these white people, white people have terrorized the world. They're terrorists. They're criminals. They're thieves.
So, I mean, I don't want to be associated or living amongst pedophiles, predominantly white. Uh, because you remember, they're the majority. So, they're the majority of pedophiles. They're the majority of terrorists. They're the majority of incest. Uh, you know, ancestry, you know, committing incest. They're, they're just the majority of crime. Because they're the majority. So don't, let's not. Majority of LGBTQ. Majority of the, just the gay lifestyle. Majority of inhumanity. The majority of uncivilized. Hey, I, I, 